For the past couple of years, there's been so much talk of Web3 and the metaverse. But we're really asking the key question, is it just a fad, a passing trend like so many things that have come and gone in the world of technology and business, or is it truly the future? Well, here's a special report. Nearly a decade, thousands of techies and billions of dollars spent, all towards one goal which is to make an immersive virtual world, the metaverse. With this investment and vision, Mark Zuckerberg is on a quest to make this metaverse a reality for us all around the world. But the question is that are we truly ready for this metaverse? So before we put on the VR goggles and create our digital avatars, we must find out that is it truly a game changer or just a gimmick? Well, Snapchat founder even Spiegel does not agree with the concept of Metaverse, so does Greg Joswick from Apple. So the tech world is clearly divided on the future of Metaverse or how is it going to shape out. But what do you, the Tech Today community, think about it? And today I shall find out. Do you know what Metaverse is? No. I have no idea but basically it is something of the virtual reality stuff. No. Do you want to know what Metaverse is? No. Yes. What do you think it is? It's a more, it's on the virtual side, I mean, from what I know, and it's something which is upcoming where many uh, organizations are trying to get into the space uh, to build a different kind of market space, from what I understand. It's new, but I think it is in the growing stages right now. I don't know actually what that is. Would you want to know about Metaverse? Uh, yeah, I would definitely want to know about it. I have zero idea. It's a virtual reality universe wherein people can interact, they can share. It's a shared space basically, but you don't need to be physically present over there. People can interact, they can uh, play games, they can do virtual shopping, they can you know, do a lot of things that they do in real life, uh, except that they will have to either wear a VR goggle or uh, be present there uh, in their 3D avatars, is what I think. A virtual reality space in which users can interact with a computer generated environment and other users. Do you believe that Metaverse will become a reality in the coming years? I think it's very difficult to predict what it will become considering the way things are. Uh, it might become a shared virtual space for people uh, who can just stay at their place and do whatever they do uh, in general but without getting out of the house. But to for something virtual to become your reality, it uh, we really have to wait and see how it pans out. Do you think it will take over our real lives very soon? Definitely, so people would love to experience it. Wherein, if we are not present in that world and we get an experiencing, we can like everyone would love to see that. Oh, absolutely, I would love to. I would love to see what it brings, what it does. Some confused yeses, but mostly a big no. After all, Metaverse is an idea to which different tech companies have different interpretations. As for Mark's vision, all is not well in the paradise. The company reported its quarterly earnings and realized that the overall costs have gone up by a fifth due to the Metaverse plans. So will this make Mark Zuckerberg abandon his Metaverse plans? Do you think he should abandon his Metaverse? Well, that is a debate you must participate in and let us know through our social media handle. In the meantime, let's take you to Berlin, where our tech editor Ayush Ailawadi is in conversation with Peter Corte, the CTO and Chief Strategy Officer at Siemens. This conversation revolves around a different sort of Metaverse, one that could truly change the face of the industry. From a tech perspective, there have been several concepts that have come and gone over the years. Now, this is very promising. The potential of the industrial metaverse and digital twins is interesting. Often what happens in the technology world is it starts one way and then the river flows in another direction. We're happy as long as the use cases uh, really work out for this technology. But what I wanted to ask you was, are you worried in any way, um, based on how the public and private sector get together for this, that this might fizzle out or take another direction altogether? So, it's a great question again. and. Um as a CTO at Siemens, I see this happening over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Just yesterday, I was at a conference for additive manufacturing. Right. It went exactly through what you described. Everybody's super ecstatic. This is going to solve the world's yeah. resilient supply chain and so on. Then super disappointment, right? And then now, finally, however, the technology is building. Absolutely. I believe on the metaverse, yes, for sure. We yeah. see the hype today. But why am I confident? Because we are saying that the digital twins are the building blocks for the metaverse. That's right. And the digital twins are already there. We are just built, uh, have, have built a digital twin of our own factory that we just newly built. Right. And so the digital twins are emerging. So therefore, it's just a matter of time until finally we are going to move some shape or form into the metaverse. <laughs>
If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.